Hi, here is our 10 minute standing leg spark bar sequence for this week. You're gonna need your chair and actually that's it today. So that's either good news or it isn't. <laughs> um, we're gonna do some balancing in the middle of this section and you can use your chair for that if you need to, okay? So we're gonna start in first position, well actually just to start ground in to our foundation and again, please do a couple moments of knee lifts or some vinyasa whatever it is to warm up your body a little bit so that we can do some really deep toning. Okay, so bring the feet together. Um, big toe mats touch, rock back on the heels, separate the toes. So you're gonna come into a little V position. So we're gonna start in first position releve. So lift up into the releve and then squeeze the heels together. So make contact with the heels and then draw the knees open a little bit and that'll help you actually engage the heel points together a little bit better. Then you're gonna engage up through the legs here, okay? So I'm gonna squeeze my quads and I'm gonna engage through the, into the toes from the, from the top of the feet out, okay? The heels squeeze together, all right? And then you're going to draw your lower belly in and then just lower an inch or two. So you wanna start in a position that's challenging. So don't wait to get into the challenge. We're gonna go right, right into it. Right into it, and you're at home and I can't see you, but I know. So, a couple of you have confessed and it's gotta stop. So let's just do this, let's dive in. Dive in, people, let's do it. Uh, it's, I'm, do, I'm saying this for myself as well, <laughs> okay? It's, we gotta keep each other motivated, right? All right, so, squeeze the seat, draw the lower belly in nice and, nice and strong, lift the chest up. So the rib cage is gonna lift, you're gonna lower a couple inches. And again, you're looking for a nice strong challenge right from the get-go, okay? So right here, we're already in it. We're in a nice position. We're nice and strong. We've got our belly kicked in nice and strong. And we're going to lower an inch and squeeze up. Lower an inch and squeeze up. Lower an inch and squeeze up. And again, those lowers are with resistance, like you're putting on the brakes, right? And your muscles and your legs are the brakes. So really squeeze and dive in again. This is only 10 minutes. It'll be over before you know it, okay? So make use of this time as best you can and just get the most out of it by working as strong and as hard as you can, okay? With good form, of course. Of course, of course. Good. So let's do two more like that. And again, intensity on the way up, intensity on the way down. All right, so you're gonna squeeze out. Again, really engaging the seat as strong as you can. Really, I know these quads might be burning. Pull the chest up a little bit. Light fingertip on your prop, and you're gonna just pulse down, okay? So you're gonna pulse straight down. Keep your chest lifted, shoulders back. And just squeeze into that pulse. So make it as small and as strong as you can. Really diving in. Squeeze down, 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 down. Chest up, chin parallel to the floor. Think about a dancer's carriage. Stay lifted through center. Squeeze down. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it low on one. Hopefully there's like a fire about to burst out of your thighs. Bring your hands to center, hold them in Anjali Mudra. Take a breath here, maybe extend that up. Cross the thumbs, lengthen forward, look up. Squeeze the heels together, squeeze the feet to the floor. Draw the lower belly in. Woo. Lower an inch and hold it. And then bring your hands down to center, stay, stay, stay. And then squeeze up, beautiful, okay. So you can keep your chair close to you. We're gonna do a balancing, a challenge balancing sequence with an arabesque. You're absolutely welcome to use the chair. So just work at whatever challenge is good for you today. So we're gonna stay in first position. So the feet are gonna be slightly turned out. The knees are gonna be soft, so we're in a little bit of plie. We're gonna tuck, we're gonna do a forward fold in this position. So you're gonna send your sit bones back, lengthen the fingertips toward the floor and let your head lengthen, okay? Shake it out a little bit, whatever feels good. So from this position, we're gonna, we're gonna draw all our strength in from center. So we're gonna squeeze into center. You're gonna lift, let's start with the left leg. You're gonna lift your left leg, and you're gonna lengthen back and find some sort of an arabesque 
lift. Okay, and down, find your center, good. Squeeze from the earth, really strong, really strong, so feet are grounded. Lift the left leg, right? And then lengthen back into a potential arabesque of some sort. Again, your chair is here to rest your hand upon, okay? Awesome. Squeeze that in. Lower it down. Tip forward from the hips. Send your sit bones back. You're squeezing, you're protecting your lower back, lifting your navel up. Lower, dive in a little bit. So the, we're almost in a chair position in first position, so the hips are back. Squeeze up through the navel. Draw that foot off the floor strong. See if you can find the strength to balance, even for a second or two. And then bring that leg in slow. It's all about slow and control, good. Squeeze down, send the sit bones back. Squeeze up one more time on this side, draw everything in. Extend and expand like you're a big flower about to bloom, and then squeeze in slow with control, bring that foot down. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. Tip forward from the hips, then sit bones back. Fingertips release to the floor, draw the needle in. Focus on grounding through the floor, drawing that energy up, pulling into center, finding your balance, and strengthening up and out, hold the leg up strong. Good, squeeze it in with control. Move slow. Good, step forward from the hips, send the sit bones back. Lengthen the torso. Squeeze strong through the feet. Engage the inner thighs. Draw the lower belly up. Find your center. Reach out. And lengthen. Good, squeeze in and up. Slowly come back. Send your sit bones back. Last one. Fingertips to the floor. Squeeze and draw in and center. Pull your navel in. Draw up and back. Lengthen your arms. Squeeze your center. Hold your leg back. And then squeeze forward with control. Bring the foot to center. Awesome. Okay, take a big breath. All right, now we're going to use the chair. So we're going to come into a full fold over position. And we really want to focus on hamstring and seat, okay, on this part. You can use the modified full over position. Please do that if that's a better option for you. I'm gonna extend full, I'm gonna extend fully on this one. Sorry for the squeaking. So fingertips on the back of your chair again. Make sure you have a nice sturdy chair. Okay, so it doesn't come flying, it doesn't come flying off the floor. I'm actually gonna pick it up one more time. You step back until your hip line is approximately over your ankle. Feet are hip distance apart. Now lengthen your lower back and then draw the navel up to protect it. Sit a little bit so the sit bones are engaged. Okay, so now your torso is nice and strong. Ears are just going to rest inside the arms. And let's bring up that left leg and flex. Okay, so I'm going to have to even walk back a little bit. Yeah. So you have to, might have to play with your position a little bit. So, But I want you to be square. So this hip, if you look underneath yourself, you should see this hip bone here not here, okay? That, just keep correcting it and stop when you need to, okay? So I'm gonna lengthen my head up so I'm not hanging my head. Soften the standing leg. You're gonna squeeze your knee in and press out. Squeeze it in and press out. Squeeze it in and press out. Squeeze it in and press. In and press. In and press. Good. Two more. Oh yeah. Flex that foot again. Now point the toe. Circle out. Little teeny tiny circle. Squeeze your seat. Again, that standing leg is not locked. Please keep it slightly bent. Circle the other way. Hold up. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You guys can do it. Please don't give up now. Let's go on. We're almost at the end, okay? We're going to go for four and three and two and one. Very slowly bring that leg in. 
reach your fingertips to the floor, shake your head and neck a little bit, and just release your upper torso. And then squeeze everything, draw yourself up to center, switch sides, okay? So lengthen forward, tip forward from the hip. Wave the spine long, squeeze the sit bones back, draw the lower belly in. Extend the right leg up and back, square the hip to the floor, look back, make sure your hip is square. Take a big breath here. Squeeze the knee in and press. So when you're pressing, you just want to press all the way back, like your foot is going to sink against the wall that's behind you. Press. So think about extension. Standing leg is slightly bent. You're grounded to the floor, and your core is engaged strongly, okay? Big breath. Push. Two more. Hold it out. Point the toe. Squeeze. Re-engage everything. Lengthen. Watch your form. Circle. One direction, whichever way you want to start. Woo. Squeeze. Circle the other way. Good. Hold it there and then squeeze up and lower. Up and lower. You can do it. This is the hardest part. We're almost done. Squeeze up and lower. Up and lower. Up and lower. Just making nice strong muscle in those legs. Toning them up. Wielding on our strength, our confidence. Pushing yourself to the other side. Transformation happens there when it gets tough. Good, let's do four, and three, and two, and then one. Softly bring it down. Good. Release your hands from the back of your chair. Fingertips on the floor. Release your head and neck again. Just release it. Lengthen it out, whatever position feels good. Take your elbows, fingertips into your elbows. Swing it out. Again, knees are soft. Squeeze the floor, roll yourself up, roll your shoulders back, quick stretch on the chair, quadricep stretch, lengthen the torso up, draw those knees towards each other, big breath, and then we're going to switch, lengthen up, big breath, good, now we're going to do figure four, so sit back nice and low. Flex that foot, drop the ankle right above the knee. And then one more time on the other side, sit back low. And stretch. Great, keep stretching if you need it. And that's it for our 10 minute standing bar sequence this week. I'll see you guys next time, bye.